and to keep partisans blew up the Azure Furniture Studio on Rimarska Street in Kharkov. Although no one was injured by the explosion, the blast was powerful enough to demolish part of wall and blew up window in the building, reports Ukrainian media. The Azure Furniture Studio belonged to supporter of punitive operation in Donbass. We remember, Ukraine has seen a series of explosions in some cities in recent weeks, as well as bomb threats in the capital Kiev. U.S. President Barack Obama has signed an executive order barring American companies from providing services, including IT and trading with Crimea. Established services like Gmail and Skype might be blocked on the peninsula, as well as access to popular U.S. software like Firefox, Google Chrome, Skype, Gmail and Windows, RBC reports. The document does include a ban of Internet services, said Cliff Burns of Brian Cape, an expert in sanctions and export control. However, that the order won't be easy to fulfill technically. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Ukraine's pursuit of NATO membership posed a danger to European security and that the West was using Kyiv's bid to join the Atlantic Alliance as a way to fuel confrontation between Russia and Ukraine. There are few Western countries that want to maintain the crisis in Ukraine and to maintain and boost the confrontation between Russia and Ukraine, including through provocative efforts to our membership in the Atlantic Alliance, Lavrov said. The very idea of Ukraine's efforts to join NATO are dangerous, not only for Ukrainian people because there is no unity over that issue. It is dangerous for European security, he added. Ireland is siding with Microsoft in its legal battle with the US over personal data stored on a company server in Dublin, which a US court ordered to be handed over. Ireland says American justice should respect international law and national sovereignty. Ireland has a genuine and legitimate interest in potential infringements by other states of its sovereign rights with respect to its jurisdiction over its territory, a court brief filed by Ireland on Tuesday reads. We remember last week 10 US-based groups, including tech firms, on Land privacy advocates and prominent media outlets filed briefs in New York in support of Microsoft. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.